live from Los Angeles, it's theCUBE, covering E3 2018. Brought to you by SiliconANGLE Media. Hey, welcome back everybody. Jeff Frick here with theCUBE. We're at E3 in the LA Convention Center. 68,000 people. It's a zoo. It's our first time here. We're really excited to be here. But the guy to my left has been here for a number of years. And we're excited to have him on. He's John Ema. He is the global head of gaming creator for Facebook. John, great to see you. Great, great to be here. Thanks. So, first off, just kind of impressions of the show. 68,000 people. Uh, it's been awesome. Zoo. It's been awesome. I don't know if you checked out all the different like booths and stuff around here, but it's just been nuts and stuff. Yeah. And I'm really proud about the booth that we have behind us, which is the gaming booth that we created. Uh, so inside this booth, we've got Instagram, which is behind me, as well as Oculus for VR. Then we've got a stage where, as a creator, you can go on there and live stream to Facebook, which is cool. Right. So I know Facebook's been pushing a lot of live streaming, just kind of for general events and different different things, but I hadn't heard so much about it within the focus of gaming, and that's really your perfect. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So in January, we announced the Gaming Creator Pilot Program, okay. which is basically our way of sending a signal to the industry that we're going to invest in games, right? So we've done two things. Is one, from the product side, we built this new thing we call the Gaming Destination, okay. to where you as a viewer or a fan can go there and consume con content, right? So you go to fb.gg.com, you can see like your favorite streamer, as well as like whether it's like VOD content and that type of thing. On the second side of it is making it easier for creators to make a living on Facebook. So we've been building monetization products, um, as well as really just working hand in hand on them right. uh, to figure out what are the best products that they need to, to succeed on our platform. Right. So we've got some of the top streamers like Stone Mountain, Darkness, the list goes on and on and on. And this is globally too, so. Right, now Facebook sits in a pretty unique position because obviously you have the, base, the basic platform which is giant, I don't know what the current published amount of people that 2 participate. 2.2 billion users. How many? 2.2 billion. Wow, so you're like a third of the way of, of the entire world, <laughs> right? Or a little bit more. Basically. But then also you have a lot of other brands, and I know everybody thinks of, of Oculus and Facebook, because obviously yeah. you can really play into the VR space. Yeah. But you've got Instagram, you've got a bunch of other brands, not just Oculus that you're able to leverage. Yeah, so at Facebook, again, just like you're saying, we've got Oculus for VR, we've got Instagram, we also have WhatsApp, which is a communication app. That's right. And we have Messenger as well. So we've got like a family of sweet apps, which is cool, and we know just from like a creative perspective that they probably use maybe one or all. Right? So how do we leverage that to make it easier for them to do the things that they love to do? Right, right. And how does how do those map back into gaming? Is it different type of distribution? Is it a different type of, of way to contact people yeah. when you're inviting people? How do you integrate all these different platforms into kind of a single experience from the streaming perspective? Yeah, so if you talk about like with Oculus, right, you can play games on there. You can also stream from that, which is cool. We know gamers on Instagram like to post, you know, gaming content, whether it's like pictures or that type of thing. So you have that content there. And then like, you know, if you look at like Messenger and WhatsApp, you know, if you're a gamer, you probably use that to communicate with your friends. Hey, let's play Overwatch, let's play Fortnite, or that type of thing. So. Right, right. So you guys, obviously, Facebook is big into data. Everybody knows that you guys use data. Big data's taken over the whole world. But it's a pretty interesting tool that you can use to, to change the experience, yeah. to help the experience. So how are you using, you know, kind of data and big bandwidth and big store and big compute to deliver a better gaming experience to the, to the fans? Yeah, so we're very strategic with our approach. We want to make sure that it's right for the creators. You know, as we know, you know, um, how we position that is just basically working hand, 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 hand in hand with devs as well as creators to really figure out what are the best ways that we can make them bigger on our platform. We know from our creator standpoint, the biggest thing that they complain about is, hey, I want to grow, right? Like I've been streaming for X amount of years, I've been creating content, how do I grow? The cool thing with Facebook, as you know, when you consume content, is usually through newsfeed, right. right? Or if one of your friends shares that content. So we've seen a lot of creators come on board and have really early success with that in terms of like sharing content or asking their, uh, you know, their fans when they're on the stream, like, hey, you know, I'm live right now. Share this content with your friends. Right, then they right. get instant exposure, right? Which helps them grow. So there's all these different ways um, that we can help them, and we're still learning, right? You know, we just launched in January, but we've got a long way to go, but we're seeing a lot of trajectory that's just going up, which, right, which is great. Right, so. Such a big platform. So, yeah. so, so that's it, kind of what are some of your priorities if we come back a year from now and, and talk, what are some of your priorities for the next 12 months to help juice this thing along? Yeah, so right now, you know, we've rolled out STARS, which is like one form of monetization, uh, which is essentially like tipping. Okay. We've also got subscriptions, so you can subscribe to a creator, so we're rolling that out in like in the alpha stages right now. Um, you know, you'll see the program continuing to roll out more globally as well. And then with FB.GGG, our gaming destination, it's only going to get 
you're going to start seeing more content in, in there as well. All right. right? Um, you also see us working with Instagram and Facebook, and uh, sorry, and o Oculus more as well. So, you know, we just got a lot of things that we're up to, but it's exciting. Keep you busy. Very much. All right. All right, John. <laughs> we'll uh, we'll keep an eye on it and look forward to catching up a year from today. Awesome. All Just right. Thank, thank you. All right. He's John. I'm Jeff. You're watching the Q from <laughs> E3 in Los Angeles. Thanks for watching. Thanks.